Yet another development, Channel 9, uncovered. By now you know Casey Anthony is Kaylee's mother. But tonight, detectives want to know who's the father. Channel 9 Steve Barrett reports it's a question Casey's own family can't answer, but there are some clues. Vanessa, we've learned that the Orange County Sheriff's Office really wants to have a look at this FHP crash report right here. It could be a clue as to who Kaylee's father is, but it also might just reveal another lie told by Casey Anthony. We spent the day knocking on doors looking for relatives and friends of Jesus Ortiz, a 21-year-old killed in a car crash last year. In death, he's being dragged into the Kaylee Anthony saga. Is Jesus Ortiz the father? No, I don't even know who he is. Cindy Anthony so, claims no knowledge of Ortiz, although she has said Kaylee's father was killed in a car crash. That crash investigation included a blood test for toxicology. Now investigators may use that sample in a post-mortem paternity test. And there appear to be clues to this father question online. This is Jesus Ortiz's MySpace page. It's still active. And as you scroll down the list of condolence messages, here's one from someone close to Kaylee Marie Anthony. Meanwhile, when Channel 9's Jeff Deal approached the potential father's family, they were shocked at the mere possibility that Jesus might have been Kaylee's father. The father? Yeah. Have you, have you guys heard any of that no. before? You don't know anything about that? Another possibility has been tossed around as well, that even Casey doesn't know who Kaylee's father is and made up yet another lie about the mystery father who died in a car accident. And uh, we just heard from the medical examiner's office about a half an hour ago. They say that the blood sample from this accident report is still in a lab. It will be for two years after the crash, at least. So that is blood available for a paternity test. Uh, by the way, in this accident report, uh, Jesus Ortiz was found not at fault, or at fault, excuse me, but not intoxicated. Meanwhile, we've heard nothing from the Anthonys since they arrived home here uh, a little while ago from uh, that meeting with investigators. Reporting live in Orange County, Steve Barrett, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.